Hi all. In this video, I am going to explain about partial function in JavaScript. Okay. The same way, whichever I have shown what is carrying in JavaScript, it is almost the similar way the partial function is also applying. But there is some small difference. Okay. So the partial function is a way of partially applying a function. That means it it's a process of producing a function with a smaller number of arguments. In the first, uh, for example, if I have a function add of 1, 2, 3 in the partial function, what we will do is first we will give or call the function with one or lesser number of arguments like either you can call one one argument then you can pass the remaining arguments in the second call itself like 2 comma 3 or you can call add first time first function call you are calling with the two arguments and the second function call you are calling with the third argument something like that so this is uh, called partial function then what is the difference between the partial function and the currying function is function currying is function currying always on the function call at a time one parameter is getting called so in the currying function it will be add one add two and add three something like that so this is how the function function currying and this is how the partial function so either this one or this one based on the number of arguments okay i will show an example uh, this partial function is similar way of currying we can achieve we can convert a function into a partial function using uh, bind bind method as well as closures okay first i will write a normal functions uh, for example i am writing a function called show students in which we will show the college name then student name and student age some function okay and i am just consoling that function so college name student student name then student age i am consoling it and i am calling that function so show student this is the normal way of writing function okay so for student name i'm giving a b c then student name equal to student 1 then 12 I am saving it and when you look into it you can see I have, it is showing ABC then using the partial function so the college name we can group it as one and the student name and student age as an another group okay so using the partial function first time I will call a function with a college name alone and the second time I will call the function with the remaining argument student name and the student age okay we can check so first i am going to write a partial function using a bind method so bind method in javascript so how you can write it is so const college name one equal to show students dot bind then i will give the college name sdf then sorry um, the first parameter of the bind function will be always this reference since we doesn't have any this reference here we have to pass a null option okay and i am only passing the sdf function that is the first parameter so if you are not aware of the bind function i already created a video before regarding the call apply and the bind functions in that video i am giving a detailed description of the bind 
even though I can explain a little more on the bind function what bind function is doing is whenever you are passing an argument to a function it will like create a copy of the same function with the arguments we are passing and it will assign to this variable and it won't execute when we use the bind function so the college name and if you pass the second but uh, student name and the student age it will get executed so it has to be called separately then only it will get executed this bind function is returning another function with sdf as the college name okay and the remaining parameter is a partial function remaining parameter i can pass it here student 2 then 13 save you can see sdf student to 13 this is partial function and if you want to call another one student 3 14 see and if you want to change another college name college name to then another college name is er e t r then I am giving the college name to saving it and student 4 see ETR student 4 the same way we can uh, write the code uh, with a clearer approach more readable approach okay then this is the first method using the bind method okay the second approach um, using closures using closures so we are writing the partial function using the closures so how to use the closures okay it's a similar way we can override this functions how to override the function is the show student i'm renaming the function with closure okay and I am passing only one parameter here first parameter is the college name and it returns a function which accept the remaining two parameters and inside that you can console this one so what is the use of closure is the closure inner function is accessible to the outer variables also okay so i am consoling everything here and the similar way we using bind how we called it simple it has some difference i can show you so const college name 3 equal to simply call the function with the method with the college name so college name will be something y u i and then you can call college name 3 of then student 5 then you can give the age as 14 save it and you can see y u i student 4 this is how we can use the partial function using bind method and the closure so the main thing that it will split our function based on the uh, based on the variable uh, we can split a single function into multiple function with smaller number of parameters okay that is for partial function and the difference between the partial function and the closure is clo uh, sorry uh, and the currying is currying always accept one parameter in a function but the partial function initially uh, it will accept one or more and the remaining the second call it will accept the remaining parameters or arguments okay so that is the main difference between the partial uh, function and the currying